Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly love reading. So please remember this is a timeless message, so do not worry about timings here. Now we're going to do things a little bit differently today. We're going to pull some cards for you, the watcher, and you know your energy and just general messages around love. We're going to see what is going on with your counterpart here as well. So if you are single, this might give you some insight on what the person is going to be like, etc. What they're going through and we'll just see where this goes. So right now, Queen of Swords. So you are feeling really quite logical. You're feeling like you have to focus on things right now. I am getting that you want to get stuff done. You're feeling very ambitious. Very kind of like you've got these blinkers on and you know what you want to work towards. And that is exactly what you're focusing your energy on right now. You don't want any distractions. For Queen of Swords, it might be that you have prepared what you want to say. Maybe you've been thinking a lot about what you want to say to this person. Um, other kind of questions you would like to ask this person when you do get to, to meet with them. Let's see, Five of Coins, The Hanged Man. Yeah, so generally right now, it seems like you are trying to focus a lot on your money, a lot on your material world. Five of Coins is like, you know, maybe you're feeling... Like there's some things here that need to change in your life and that's what you want to think about. With the hanged man, you know, something here is stuck in suspense. Something here is really been put on hold. This could be to do with love. It could be to do with something in your personal life. But something here is stuck with the hanged man and you're having to embrace this moment of pause. You're having to kind of take some time out and look at things from a different perspective. Sorry, guys, I'm full of a cold at the moment. Um, so, yeah, you're having to look at things differently. And it seems with that Queen of Swords, you just want to be, like, really rational about this. You don't want to get too emotionally involved because that Five of Coins, perhaps it's quite easy to feel abandoned or rejected right now. And you're trying to lean away from strong emotions. You're trying to lean away from strong emotions and just focus more on facts, on what you can see, on what you know to be true. You don't want to get caught up in illusion right now, so you're just really like, I've got to stay on track. I've got to stay, like, I know what I want to think about. I know what I need to focus on. I don't want any outside distractions right now. Now let's have a look at your counterpart here. So the other person, this love reading, what is their current energy? Knight of Swords, interesting. You may have actually asked this person some questions or said something that you needed to say. Knight of Swords, it feels like they're planning a response, but they're very in and out about this response. You know, maybe they've got an idea of what they want to say, but they're actually feeling a little bit um, unsure of how to deliver this message. It seems like this person doesn't want to like end this or say the wrong thing. So yeah, they're feeling very much like all over the place right now with what they should say. Now this is someone who's clearly very busy. This Knight of Swords energy, I feel like they are a little bit scattered right now. Their energy is in different places. Perhaps they are a little bit stressed about work. They kind of feel like you are in a position of power and they're trying to get to that place. They're trying to step up and, and match you at that level, but they know that they've got a little bit of learning or something here that they need to complete before that is possible. So yeah, right now, Nine of Cups, the Hierophant. This person clearly wants to have, you know, some kind of wish or goal come true. You know, it feels like they are very committed to their dreams and their wishes right now. Um, they they want to kind of be free and they want to focus on those. Lottie agrees. So they want to be free. They want to focus on their goals. You know, they know that they've got a lot on their plate. They know that you are very busy working on some things in your life. So whilst they do have something that they wish to say here... Um, I feel like they aren't sure about what kind of commitment they can give right now um, because they, they kind of want to find some personal happiness here. So let's see for you guys watching this video, what is your guidance? 
four of coins. So invest wisely, strength. So you are being guided to really think about perhaps what you are holding on really tightly to. Um, you know, what is maybe blocking you from feeling secure or what is making you feel secure? This is really about thinking about your security, your grounding, um, and what is maybe your ego projecting right now? What is it that's true, what's not true? This is about, you know, not letting kind of other people make you feel a certain way. It's about staying in your power, um, definitely not letting your counterpart here knock you off balance. But yeah, there's something which you might be holding on really tightly to, which perhaps you're ready to release. Um, and this is about just thinking of ways that you can invest in yourself. What do you want to invest your time in? How do you want to grow your finances? You know, some of you may be trying to save up for something. So perhaps you're really, really working on money right now. And that's okay because you are being guided to do so. Now let's see your counterpart. What is their guidance? What are they being guided to do right now? What are they being guided to do? So your counterpart right now, their guidance is to live a more moderate lifestyle. It feels like they are swinging from extreme to extreme. You know, this night of swords energy is so scattered. They're being guided to just find their balance and their peace right now in the present moment. Yeah, eight of wands. It feels like they're being guided to think carefully about what direction they want to move in so that they can do this with peace, you know, Yes, go explore, go travel, but at the same time, make sure that you are staying balanced whilst you do so. Now, this is also them being guided to think about what they want to communicate, what they want to say, how they want to get this across, to really clear their mind so that they can so that they can say the right thing and say what is actually aligned with them. Oh dear Lottie Lou, are you okay? So that they can actually say what is aligned with them, what they want to say, rather than kind of like speaking from a place of ego. Oh, baby. So let's see your next move, your next actions. Anything coming through there? Justice. So you are trying to find balance in this. I feel like you are going to be giving this person a second chance or you're going to be giving love another chance because it feels like you are really trying to find your balance in your life and once you've achieved that, you're going to be much more open to a relationship, to another chance in love. It just feels like right now there's so much going on for you and things that you need to invest in and work on and you just don't really have much time for another person right now. So your next step is to really find balance in your life. I do feel like for some of you, this is signing a new work contract, moving house, just as it's signing of contracts, it's legal situations. Maybe there's a divorce here you want to finalize so that you can move on. Maybe you're waiting for someone to sign a divorce. Um, so, you know, there is this signing of contracts, which I feel is the next step. Once this contract has been signed, once this balance has been found again, that is where the next step can happen. Now, your counterpart, what is their next step? Their next step, the magician. So their next step is to really manifest. Manifest their goals. Bring their dreams, their wishes to life. That nine of cups we had before. So their next step is really to focus on creating their dream life on making things happen because once they've done that they know that they are going to be able to move forwards they know that they're going to be free and open and happy but it definitely seems like they really have some work they need to do on themselves and their next step is to basically align with higher vibration that, that magician is new beginnings as well. This person maybe has some new beginnings, but they want to start. So their next step here is to have a fresh start, but a fresh start from a place of power, from them understanding, okay, I've got the tools to create. I, I've got everything that I need. I am capable. I can make this happen. So once they are in that place of like, I've got the power and I'm ready for new beginnings, that is when they're going to take their next step. 
So let's get these cards back in. And now we're going to see what is going on in this connection. What is going on in love in general. So let's give these another shuffle. So let's see what is happening in this connection. What is going to happen. So... <coughs> Currently, in this connection, we have two of swords. So currently, we do have maybe a bit of a stalemate in place. <laughs> Again, Lottie is agreeing. So we have a bit of a stalemate in place where you and another person may be having some kind of disagreement. Perhaps you're trying to find a decision, find some kind of common ground here. But this two of swords is like, it's you and them and there is an element of conflict or tension between you both right now. If you are single, then perhaps you are feeling a bit of a crossroads right now. And, you know, in your love life, you're feeling like you need to make a decision about what you want. Perhaps make a decision about a previous relationship or something. But this two of swords, basically right now, it's decision time for everyone, regardless of your relationship status. Now, what is happening next? Six of coins. You're going to be receiving an offer and an invitation. I do keep seeing two people kind of like clinking glasses as if there's some kind of meetup, some kind of like introduction perhaps or a celebration. But I'm getting special moment. That's what I'm being told. Some kind of special moment. So in the near future, we do have this special moment between two people. Six of coins, very equal, very balanced, a really nice exchange. It definitely seems like you are um, balancing each other out. It's very much like the give and take is equal, very healthy energy I am getting. But we do have this element of gifts, of celebration, um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. We've got so many events coming up. Maybe you've got a birthday coming up. But this six of coins is like, this is going to be very generous. A very generous offer. So let's see. Let's see what else is going to happen here. I do feel like out of nowhere you find that a cycle completes and suddenly you are you are in a committed relationship and things are feeling very settled. Let's see, King of Wands. So yeah, we do have someone here making a very big offer, very generous, very kind. Divine masculine energy here with this King of Wands. So this person's gonna come towards you. I feel like they're gonna try and fulfill one of your wishes. I can see the genie here. This is the Disney Villains Tarot, by the way, guys. So, you know, it feels like this person's gonna try to bring your wishes to life. Maybe they're asking you what you really want. And perhaps they're going to get at you. Something here that maybe you're going to be dropping hints at. And this person's going to be listening. And they're going to surprise you with something that perhaps you'd forgotten you even mentioned. But it's a really nice, really kind energy. And lastly, we have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess, you know... I feel like a lot of what's going to happen is still meant to be a bit of a mystery right now. But this is a very spiritual relationship. Also another number two here. So something's going to happen which brings back the balance here in your love life. In this connection. Um, I feel like this person is going to be communicating with you through signs and synchronicities. And then there's going to be this physical gift. I do feel like this person is preparing something really nice, really generous here. Um, and they're going to be taking that action towards you. They are waiting for some kind of intuitive feeling like, yes, it's the right time. I should do it. So they're almost waiting for the right moment to make this happen. They don't want to miss their opportunity but they also don't want to rush right now so this person is really waiting for some kind of signal so that they can approach you with their offer with their gift and it feels like this is where this kind of stalemate or tension ends and the decision is made it feels like from there we have a lot happening a lot of changes a lot of progress and it seems like this can then start to like take the next step. I see that by Christmas you might be planning the future here, so planning the next couple of months with this person. 
Um, okay, guys, that is what I am getting today. And let me know what resonated. I hope you enjoyed doing something a little bit different today. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens. But thank you so much for watching. And if it resonated, then let me know in the comments. Sending you lots of love. And I will see you all back here on Friday where we're going to do another tarot reading. And don't forget, you can check out my daily readings on Instagram. I do written ones and I do recorded video readings on my Patreon site, sacredspace.co.uk. So check my daily messages out there. And on Sacred Space, you can also access cuddly yoga videos, guided meditation, psychic development, body empowerment videos. So there's so much content on there to really help you stay aligned and empowered. So do check it out if you've got time. Um, thanks guys and I will see you soon.